Hi guys, so welcome back to our weekly declutter and y'all know we jumping right into it. I think we probably got about one or two more declutters and we'll be good. So the first thing, I don't even know, oh, this is from Coastal Scents. And it's a blush and bronzer palette. I probably have never used this ever. Y'all know Coastal Scents is not in business anymore, but this is how the shades look. And the colors are pretty. They're just not for me and my skin tone. The only one that probably will work is that pink shade right there. But I've never swatched it or anything. So I'll be giving this away. Because I'll never do nothing with it. The next thing is my Secrets of Feral. Ibn New York. Y'all know I, this is one of my favorite beauty supply store eyeshadow palettes. Love it. Absolutely love it trying to get that brown the black this is perfect for fall y'all I say fall but it really anytime so keeping that um what is this this is a P. Louise wedding wish uh, P. Louise to me I love their eyeshadow base their eyeshadows not so much and this was just giving me blah. It wasn't really giving me anything. So I'll give that away. I'm, I'm not going to do nothing with that. If I done had it for over a year and never, I caught it like when it was on sale or something and never did anything with it, then it's time to give it away. This one is date night, same collection, vacation. Something I don't know, y'all. It's the boxes I probably all mixed up, but pretty still fall colors, all of that good stuff. But do I need it? No. I mean, you can make these eyeshadows work. They aren't all bad, but I didn't really too much care for them. The next one is well, one was vacation, and one was date night. So this is date night. And this one, the colors were different. That's probably why I picked it still for that brown shade, probably. But I don't need it. Uh, my Jacqueline Hill Volume 2. It took me a while to get into this one. When it first came out, I really wasn't interested in it. I don't know. It was just something about it that wasn't pulling me in. But y'all know I've been loving purple lately, so I need to, ooh. Okay, I need to revisit this because I probably only use it like when it first came out. And now it's time to revisit. Okay. And this would be a pretty fall, especially with that burgundy and stuff at the bottom. Like, I think that would be really, really pretty. Keeping that, of course. And this is the volume one for the first original palette. And as you can see, it's really, really dusty <laughs> because I use this a lot, especially in the fall and the cold in the colder months. This is the eyeshadows are really, really, ooh, are really, really pigmented. And you know, now, like, you can probably get this palette from TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls or one of those places. Hmm. Some of these colors I've never used. I need to put this out. I'm going to put this out to make sure I keep that. The next one is a Ibn New York Secrets of Feral. Let's see how this is because I put some. I gave some away last time. They, had, they must be had like six or eight of these out this collection. Let me swatch this to see if I want to keep it. Because it's a brown, kind of brown, burgundy shade. Do I want it? I think I do. I'm going to keep this one. I like it in New York. Next up, we have a Violet Voss. I got this from Sephora. That's the only place I know that sells Violet Voss. And it's a cool palette, which you know is not really my speed. Most of the times I'll tell y'all, oh, I'm going to try it to see how it works. You know, I could probably pull this shade off, this shade. I'm going to keep it just for the sake of 
it's pigmented and the pans are huge so I'll have it for a lifetime Another P. Louise. This thing is heavy. You hear me? This is called Worldwide, I guess. I don't know. But these colors were different. And like this color and this color is probably in those palettes that I'm giving away. But, hear me. Uh, okay. Let me swatch the lime. Oh, the lime green. I never tried to swatch it. Okay. So it comes up on me. I think I'm going to keep this one so I can say I have at least one P. Louise palette. I'll play with it. Keep you updated. Another makeup revolution. Like, y'all know the drill. Y'all know when I do declutters, I'm going to have at least one makeup revolution coming to y'all. What is this called? Reloaded? I think I already put one of these in the bag. Oh, this still got the tape on it. Okay. Yeah, never played with this. I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. We're gonna do a makeup rev we need to do a makeup revolution uh look. Next one is a Be Perfect Born Ready by Kylie Ellie Kylie. And this was a brown. You can always tell the eyeshadow palettes that I really like because one will hit pan, like you see that brown shade did. So I like this palette. This is my fall palette right here. Let's see. The next one is the Carnival, the Antidote palette. I played with this a little bit when it first came out. The colors are amazing. I never really got around to like really, really trying it. As you can see, it's a lot of shades that I haven't played with yet. Oh, that's creamy. Y'all see how it just crumbled up? It's a real creamy. And real pigmented. Wow. Okay, I'll keep that. I was just about to give it away. This swatch, the swatch saved you. Okay. The next one is this Juvia's Place, the Wahala 2. I don't know where the lipstick is. This is how it looks. I really wasn't impressed with this one. This one didn't wow me. Didn't do anything for me. I tried it. I probably tried like the brown shade. This would be a good combination. But I don't need it. I'll give it away. If I didn't pick it up like more than once. then And I've had it this long. I need to let it go. Uh, what's this? Morphe 3503. Three, three. Fierce by Nature. And I love this palette. Now this is another one that I, I didn't play with a whole lot when I got it. But I need to. Like I really, really need to. Let me wipe my hands so I can swatch it. What shade? What shade? What shade do we want to swatch? Let's swatch this pink. I'm into pink lately too. Yeah, I'm into all colors. Don't pay me no attention, y'all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. The next one is a Be Perfect, again, um, Sunset Horizons. Kind of different. Not my typical speed, but still pretty. Do I need it? No. Now, do I want it? Let's see if I want it. This purple will determine if I want it. That's like an eggplant. I think that purple just decided that I need to give it a try. 
that's an eggplant purple so on the keep list keep keep let's see uh tammy revolution x revolution something this was another one that i tried that i really couldn't get with for whatever reason i don't know because you know makeup revolution makes good palettes but this one i really couldn't get into so i'm gonna give this away because i play with it as much as i'm gonna play with it Uh, never ending paradise Cara beauty beautiful 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 I, I love this palette <laughs> I love this palette beauty supply store for like $7.99 $8.99 you can't beat that like where you gonna go and find a palette that looks like this and this brown is everything y'all see it's, this is a perfect crease color for me perfect crease color Keeping that one, of course. What is this? Makeup Revolution, Neon, Not a Dream. I know we had some of these the other day. This one, mm, I could do without. Kari Beauty, Life of the Fiesta. Focus. Life of the Fiesta. They put these colors. Half of these, I don't even know. I even know what the colors look like. No more, and I had them forever. Nice, pretty rainbow colors. Different. It's got some greens. Mm, do I need it? No. Mm, do I need it? Do I want it? Let me try this purple. Uh, wait a minute. How many purples do I need? But this one is kind of calling me. I'm, I'm going to keep this for a minute. I probably would use them more if I had like an eyeshadow organizer. So where they were organized, I would use them more. This is a Morphe 350M palette. Probably had this since this first came out and I think this palette was the start of Morphe eyeshadows being really really popular like this is a really good for someone who's doing a natural glam a soft look without glitter or anything so I don't need it don't even look at it too hard because if I look at it too hard then I'll keep it Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette love this this was another one that got lost in my closet but her eyeshadows are really really pigmented and that's a different kind of purple right there i think our goal today is purple yeah it's a very soft very soft purple as you can see very soft but still pretty we'll keep that dose of color this is a Mickey Mouse something. Mickey Mouse palette. And I think I told y'all one time before the reason why I got this palette was because of this black. The black was so pigmented and it's really kind of hard to find black shades that are dark enough. So that's why I got this. In case I ever wanted to do a smoky look, I know that I always have a black shade the next one is the wahala palette so i guess this is one number one did i ever open it is it open yeah by juvia's place i think i preferred one over 
two, but these glitters are hard, so really was never a fan of that. I'm going to swatch this emerald green shade right here to see. That's a really pretty. That's really pretty. Since I'm getting rid of one, I think I'll keep two. Like one day I'll be able to create a look. I don't know what. Because y'all know I keep it real simple. So I don't know what kind of look I'll be able to create. But I'll keep one for the sake of saying I got a Wahala palette. The next one is, well, next two, I should say, is by Patricia Bright from Makeup Revolution. It's rich in color. Teal, teal, tin pan. These are, these are pretty. I just wanted to support her because her personality on YouTube was so vibrant, so playful, and nice. But most of these shades I never... Really got a chance to, oh, that's pretty, play with. I don't like the hard glitter, so I don't know who idea that was of what the hard glitters. That's crazy how you could pick up palette now, because mm, mm, rich in life. And this was more my speed, the tra tra transition colors, the more softer colors, you know, still all of them are still beautiful. <sighs> Y'all, when I saw them, I'm like, you need to just give it away because you haven't touched it in forever. But I'm going to hold on to these. I think I am. The next one is a palette from Amazon, AFU something. And it's just some nude shades. I told y'all I order eyeshadow palettes from everywhere. It doesn't matter where I order them from. Just everywhere. But I'll get this away. A fiery matte palette by Be Perfect. Is this Be Perfect? I don't know. That's how it looks. I think I know I'm going to give this away because I just kept the Morphe Fiery Palette and those shades are in there. So I'm good. This has never been swatched or anything as you can see. Uh, Cara Beauty Vacation Mood. Got me some car beauty. Mm. Have you seen these colors before? Yes. Is car beauty good? Yes. But do I need this? No, I don't need this. Emeralds Perfusion Palette. This one, I gave or got rid of a lot of my perfusion palettes, but for this, for this one, for whatever reason, I want to keep it, and I think I'm gonna keep it. Uh, the colors on it, I love greens. It's just these two glitter shades. They look like they're mixed with different glitters. It's really, really pretty to me. Let me swatch this one. Yeah, see, see how different that shade is it's like it's green it's green but then it has like blue reflex in it so it's really beautiful i'll keep this one and five dollars it's a five dollar palette okay my juvia's place the warriors palette the original can't go wrong with that if you're looking for a good um earth tone palette that gives you pigment that pigment pops 
and this would be it. You can always catch these on sale. I was talking to one of my subscribers, and I think she mentioned this Nomad palette. And I told her I thought I had it somewhere in there. And what do you know? I got it. Now, this was one that this is one that is really different, but it screams fall. That um, olive green shade right there screams fall. The yellow screams fall. This whole palette just says fall here I come and y'all know I'm gonna keep that because I'm a fall girl this I'm a fall kind of girl the next one is dose of color vacation I don't think they make this anymore and I had to have this palette really for the packaging the packaging just looks like a clutch that you would take out or something beautiful haven't used it really like that but i'm about to put it on my makeup desk so that i will play with it because i was looking for it maybe two or three months ago and could not find it but now that i've found it i'm never letting go yeah i'm gonna keep this and play with this tomorrow uh, Dominique Cosmetics, uh, Berries and Cream. I picked these up from Sephora when they were on sale uh, one time, I think last year. Yeah, it had to be last year. Nice and different. I really enjoy her eyeshadows. I haven't tried anything else from her. I don't know if she makes other kind of makeup, but I really enjoy her um, eyeshadows. Dominique Cosmetics, Centennial Celestial Storm. Tell me that's not pretty, y'all. You cannot not tell me that's not pretty. Like, this is everything. That's everything. Let me try this. Um, this is a pretty transition shade. Yeah, I'm going to use that for a transition. Yes. That's pretty for a transition right there. I'm going to leave that one out. Some days I like glitter. Some days I want matte. Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam. Still different. Still pretty. Like this shade right here is something I probably would never use. But I would make myself use it. I have to make myself use it. But that cream right there. And a brown like these two together would be so nice. Okay. I'll keep that one. We're doing good time here. Yeah. So the next are Cara Beauty Shadows. These remind me. I think I did a haul or something on my eyeshadow palettes like last year sometime. But these right here remind me of the Jaclyn Hill uh Another card beauty, Jaclyn Hill palettes. You see the color scheme and how they are? They remind me of her palettes, especially this one. Like, and I have never sat down and did looks with these palettes at all. Like, no kind of look. I have never done any kind of looks with these palettes. And all of these are card beauty. You can find them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like nine dollars. Look at that. These are just too, too pretty. I need to play with them. I honestly do. I honestly do. Like, look at the whole color scheme of these. Every one of them is different in their own way. And Carver Beauty eyeshadows pop. Like, you don't have to blend hard. You don't have to put down an extra white base. Like, their shadows really, really pop to be beauty supply store eyeshadows. So I need to leave all of these out so that I can play with them today. <laughs> so that's the end of today, y'all. I just, I'm going through box after box, just whatever I can pick up. Then I'll hit the record on the button, on the button, on the camera, and then I'll show you what I got. But I'll get my phone so I can show you the bag. I'm going to, my cousin, uh, she will take this bag of stuff. She knows like shelter shelters and stuff so she'll give this stuff away she's really good with working with nonprofit agencies and stuff so i'll just drop that off um to my cousin and she'll get rid of it but 
I, well, we'll you'll see at the end of the my last declutter video, and I'll tell you like what when my last video is coming. So until next time, bye guys. <laughs> hey guys, so this is the bag. Filled up with whatever I am going to donate. Just wanted to show you guys. So it's a really good feeling to get rid of stuff and then giving it to somebody who is in need of it or can use it. So yeah, so we're still working. I'm still, the bag has a long way to go. <laughs> so I'm still working on it.